through the evaporator coil where the evaporator coil can absorb heat from the building and the air gets cooled down obviously when it gives up its heat and gets ducted out to the supply. But that heat goes into the, into the evaporator coil and then that heat will make its way through the suction line, in our case up over the ceiling in the lab here. It'll come down into our condensing unit. And then as it comes in our condensing unit, the suction line comes through here, goes into the compressor, where the compressor increases its pressure and hence increases its temperature. Then it leaves the compressor, compressor on the hot gas line. If we follow that pipe all the way around, that hot gas line goes into the condenser coil, where it can use all this surface area to reject the heat to the outdoors. And then when it comes back out of the condenser coil and goes into the liquid line, and then the liquid line will make its way back through the piping system, back in, into the indoor side of the building. Now our liquid line will come in this way. It'll go into our TXV, which is a little tough to see in here. And then the TXV's job, once again, is to lower the pressure and hence lower the temperature so we have cool refrigerant entering to the evaporator coil where it's now cool enough where it can absorb more heat from the air.